What are the main challenges that retailers face in getting better returns on their ad spends? Yeah, I think it's always a bit of feels counter nature to a lot of retailers. Their core business and probably the first five to 10 years of their business really, or sometimes more, we're all used to build a business that is very robust in retail and in having happy first party providers and uh, third party sellers and happy consumers. That's a different flow of revenue than now all of a sudden going to the suppliers who you used to pay and say, hey, can you guys pay us and then get this advertising revenue? So the first thing we see like, is that this sort of, it's a brand new world. Retailers need to really learn a different set of muscles. And, um, and when you start thinking in that, Wavelength start to get into a lot of concerns around how do you do it in a way where it doesn't jeopardize your organic business. There's no cannibalization where you're making more from ads, sure, but you're really having a decline in actual revenue and your consumers are not so happy with all the ads that are uh, all over the website. And then the other thing is that, which is why we actually think there's a very big difference between having an ad that's identity-based and sort of spammy and feels like an interruption to the shopping experience versus the ones that are actually the right content appearing in the right time. And the other thing is this sort of, can you really make it very inclusive when a retailer ad introduces an ad program? Because it's very sort of easy and common to go directly to your top GMV brands, to go to the brands that have very deep marketing pockets that will just buy all the ad inventory out there. As if you're a grocery uh, brand, you probably talk to the Unilever, you talk to Pepsi, Coca-Cola. And how about the mid-tier brands and the long-tail brands? Can they also gain some benefits from the retailer having this brand, uh, this ad ecosystem launched and seeing data and seeing results from it? Because we also believe that having this diversity in brands that participate in a retailer's ads really drive a lot of the value in the end. So I think these are two examples of some of the challenges that a retailer will have to face when they start this business.